So have you ever considered disidentifying with an experience? I'm not saying ignore it. I'm saying reflect about it. Reflect about it. Point out the emotions that you experienced. And tell yourself, this is something that happened to me. This is not me. Has it ever crossed your mind to disidentify from the experience? That way, releasing you from the pain, releasing you from constantly replaying that experience over and over and over in your head. Has it ever crossed your mind to do that? Um, and I charge you with the responsibility of doing that exercise on, with yourself. You know, we can't go in reverse. We can't rewind anything. Life is the play that never stops. It never fast forwards and it never rewinds. So to hold on to what something that you experience is more detrimental than it is um, a growing thing. And as I said, I'm not saying to ignore it or act like it never happened. I'm saying reflect on it and understand that it happened to me. It's not me. It's something that I must get over because that moment is no longer here. And when I keep torturing myself with that experience, it'll never leave me. So can you disidentify from it? And also, I charge you to start practicing on identifying with moments that made you feel awesome that made you feel wonderful because i know that most of us only choose to identify with moments that make us feel like crap the worst things we don't tend to do a lot of reflecting when we um when we're going through something we don't reflect on things that really made our heart smile those times when we gave ourselves a high five, we tend to always go back and pick up that shit that was drowning us, that was choking us, that was dragging us. I charge you to go and reflect and identify with those moments that lifted you when no one else could lift you. I charge you to go back and reflect on those moments and um, chill in them for a second that remember to make make you breathe you know the bad things are not us in totality the so-called bad things because i'm not a being that operates with the thing of bad and good I, I operate on the thing of it is what it is it happened now how are you going to get through it how are you going to get through it you can't change it it's something that happened to you it's not you it's never been you but since it was a part of your experience, you have to pick and choose where you're going to put that situation. How, you, how you're how you going to allow that situation to manifest inside of you. What feelings will you attach with it? Can you disidentify from the things that caused you so much pain? Can you dis disidentify from them? Can you also pick out the silver lining in that situation? What did you pick up about you? What gave you strength? What pointed you to you? Even in that moment that you did not like, you did not appreciate. Can you still find the gem in that? Because that is a part of your wholeness. You know, none of us like the things, uh, none of us like to experience stuff that we don't like. We always like that good shit, but that other shit is a part of it too. It's on that same spectrum. And those moments where we fall down the hill, get pushed off the hill, since we did, did not die, there's a gift in that. Can you go get that? Can you pick that up and say, okay, I'm here in the present right now. I'm here in the present right now. Let me see how this added to my wholeness. Let me see how this added to my perfection. Because there's always something in it for us. 
even we even when we don't understand it while in the moment of it um and i say that because during my life during my steps i always was able to pick up my jewels in that crying and slanging snot and cussing folks out and all i was always able to pick up my stuff and roll my eyes and slap my ass and call him a bitch as i strolled off because i got what i needed for me even in that chaotic moment can you disidentify with the things that you no longer want to hold inside of you release them they were moments in your day. They were moments in your experience. You don't have to hold yourself hostage to them anymore. Reflect, process, decide what you're going to do.